Alrighty, so this will be the second video. And it all fit in that tub. I got all the flour into the other one, so that was great. So now we're going to do strawberry preserve um, muffins. So the first thing it asks for is two and three quarters cups of the muffin mix. There's one, two, and I did dishes so my other one's in the sink getting clean. So we're going to do three of these. Now what I'll probably do is see if I can fit two and three quarters um, cups of muffin mix in my quart jars and if I can do that then I'll store them in that. If not, I'll put masking tape on here and that way I'll always know what it is. So you want one egg that's lightly beaten and a half a cup of butter or margarine melted. And then we need a cup of milk. You know, since I started doing these last year with my kids, you know, it's nice to make stuff like this up. And then, you know, like I'll have my grandkids here in a couple weeks, just a couple things I can add to it. Boom, boom, boom. I don't have to worry about, did I order something for them? You know what I mean? I think that's great. So we're going to mix this up pretty good. I'm hoping to do a couple videos with my grandson. He's only three, so you have to bear with him. But he's a smart three-year-old. <laughs> he's really a good kid. I don't think you want the video with my newest grandson. He's only nine weeks old. That might be a mess. Considering that he cries when he gets his diaper changed, so I don't think you want to do the video. But my three-year-old, he is an amazing young little boy. He's so cute. And I'm not saying that just because he's my grandson either. Other people have testified to it. So. <laughs> Alright, so I've got that mixed. Looks yummy, smells yummy. Now, <laughs> when you do muffins, of course, you don't have to put the muffin pan tins in there. Um... But the reason I do the cupcake liners is because when I make stuff like this, I make it and then I uh, freeze it so Tom can take it to lunch with him. And that way I've got his little munchies and stuff. While I'm getting everything ready, I'm going to open up my strawberry jam that I made. I have to smell it. Oh, you guys, it smells so good. It smells so yummy. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is probably use a, just a little bit smaller spoon here. Because you're supposed to put, I could put a little bit more than that in there. And then I seen where they made peanut butter and jelly ones. Oh, I thought, now that would be yummy. So we're going to fill these up. I know, right? I've seen them do this the other day on a video. Let me see if it works. I watched the um, cook for the Prince and Princess. And he made the peanut butter ones. I was pretty impressed. I'm like, yeah. It does work to do that. Oh, pretty fancy. See? I learned something new yesterday. It benefited all of us. Very important that we learn things. <laughs> so when Tom's, when I say Tom's early night, he has to be to bed by seven. Because <laughs> he's up at 12.45 to go to work. And I do get up with him, but I can go back to bed. So um, I stay up later than he does anyway, regardless. But that's what I mean when his early night, he... He goes to bed at 7, so he can be up at 12.45 in the morning. 
so he puts his 12 hours in that day. <laughs> Nobody can ever say he's not a hard worker because he certainly is. I locked out in that department. He's a very hard worker. But he complains like everybody else does. <laughs> I think honestly we all do that, so no biggie. Someday maybe I'll be rich and we can just retire. Wouldn't that be nice? You just like wake up one morning and you're like all of a sudden rich. But you know, like what would you do? You know, like what's the first thing you'd do? I'd become debt free, you know? And you know, we all talk about we quit our jobs and We'd do all that, but then what would we do for fun? You know, what would we do to keep our minds active? Because after a while, I think if you didn't do anything, like your mind would be just like mush. You know what I mean? Like, kind of crazy. All right. So now, we're going to put on the homemade strawberry preserves. And that's something she specially requested was the homemade. I had other... I had jellies downstairs, but I don't have much blackberry, so I really didn't want to use it on muffins. <laughs> is that terrible of me? Blackberry is my ultimate favorite. But the jelly, too, would not be this thick, so I don't think it would set in there as well. Do you know what I mean? So, these are going to be delightful, you guys. I actually do this to those peanut butter cookies I showed you guys the one night. Sometimes I'll put them in the center. I put jelly or jam in the center. And it's like peanut butter and jelly cookies. They're really good. Alright, so. I know it's such a long video for muffins, huh? <laughs> but I figured... It'll be about 10 minutes and then I'll come back for the reveal. It's better than shutting off, turning on, shutting off. Because I'm still not good with all that editing and I don't do that, so. Bet you these are going to be busting out with joy. Oh, it looks so yummy. You know I had to taste it, right? <laughs> Alright, let's clean it all off the big spoon here. And then we're going to put just a little bit on the top. Actually, the one that worked with the princess, he didn't do that. He left it wide open. But then he was also doing the peanut butter one, too, so maybe that's why. So we just put just a little bit on top. And like I say, if you don't have enough left over, don't worry about it. Because he did his without putting anything on top. And I guess if you cook for princes and princesses, you know, travel the world cooking for them, he must do something right. Because don't they, like, check their food or something? I don't know. I've never been to princess status, so I couldn't tell you what they do. What I like about this muffin mix, too, is that it's not like super watery because you know how some of those are so watery like you can't I don't know they just pour and pour and pour and it's kind of gross all right almost done here and then actually I didn't read on the instructions how long to cook for but I'll get that when I Come back to tell you what's all in it on the video. Almost done, guys. I can only imagine how good these are going to smell with the strawberry jam in there. I know it's like you wished you were the Jetsons and you could do like smell a vision or something. <laughs> Good thing we couldn't get calories like that. God, I'd be 
twice the size of a farm. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chris, you gained 500 calories because you smelled it. Oh my God, would that be heartbreaking or what? All right, so I'm going to stick these in a 350 oven, and then when they get done, I'll bring you back and show you what they look like. It's going to be great. Alrighty, and I'm back. So these are the muffins. They look delish. <laughs> but I got to thinking, you know, all those fancy muffins that you see at the store, they all have just a tad bit of sugar on top. So I thought maybe I'd just sprinkle a little bit of sugar just to make them fancy, you know. <laughs> not that it really does that, but you know, hey. Why not try it? What the heck? All right, so I'm going to take one out. And mind you, I just got these out of the oven. So they are very, very, very hot. I'm going to put them over there and let them cool. I'm going to put this one over here so you can see it. I'm so excited. So very, very excited. Oh my. I'm going to take off the side. So if I burn my mouth, you know why, because it's really hot. <laughs> and I'm going to take a side that's got lots of jelly in it. Oh, these look really moist, you guys. Look at all the steam coming out. All right. I'm going to have to blow on it like I'm a two-year-old. Mmm. And can you see that the jelly's like oozing out? It is like so good. And it's really moist. And the strawberry jam just like oh, totally makes it, you guys. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Definitely have to try those. They are really, really good. And thank you for the suggestion, and I'll let you know that I, I did it so you can go ahead and watch the video. You guys have a very blessed night. And again, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Have a great day.